What's going on YouTube? Today just doing some updates and whole whatnot. Uh, we got this whole sexy wall situation going on here. Yeah, this looks ugly. But what I just did was I uh, ground down all the, the extra stuff here. I laid down a uh, whole new clean coat of resin. So this is all resin right here. Just got to build this up a little bit here. Sand this down a little bit here and do a little bit more layer. I got some really nice uh, curvature going on here. Uh, this is about a can and a half of uh, Bondo glass underneath here, underneath the regular Bondo. Now I ground that down with the old uh, flap wheel. Then a little coat of Bondo, another coat of Bondo, and the, the resin on top of that. It's still a little bit sticky. Um, so let's see. We got that Soundstream head unit. I, I kind of played with that a little bit. Doesn't work with the iPod, so that's kind of a problem. Um, I was gonna use it, say, say if this ever got to what, the point where I couldn't use it as daily anymore, then I'd put that in a different vehicle, you know, whatever. Um, but whatever it may be, but it doesn't work with the iPod. It's got like um, the single RCA out for the subwoofer, non-fadeable. Um, that's just not gonna work for me, you know. Um, so, I need to figure out a giveaway situation for that. I either need to raffle it off locally at a car show or something, or ship it out. You know, I'd rather not ship it out, you know, because I don't actually know who I'm giving it to. I mean, I can talk with you on Facebook and stuff, but that's, you know, that's one thing. So... I'm kind of at a, a standstill, <coughs> standstill with that. So, put in the comments whatever you think I should do with that Soundstream head unit. Works perfectly fine. Just I, I couldn't get it to work with the iPod for me, and the RCA thing's a little funky for me. Uh, it's, eh, not really, not really looking to do that uh, right now. But um, otherwise, yeah, we've just been working on the wall a whole lot. Been a long, long weekend. Um, on my way home, I scored these pipe clamps here. He had a whole table full of them. I took the three longest ones, got those for 25 bucks with a, a little, um, like a little buffing wheel, like a four and a half inch buffing wheel. I'm gonna try that on the old GoPro lens. And today we have a special guest, special guest Al right here. Let's see if I can focus. Special guest Al, last name X, Mr. Alex. Yep, this is the old real deal right here. I had these before the hybrids. Yep, pretty sweet mids and highs. Gonna do a little run here. Oh shit, I should have had this all lined up beforehand. Oh, just bear with me guys. Another base head problem I've been having with is connection here. Been using this instead of this. I don't know why it's fucked up, but you gotta play around with that for it to work. That's kind of not cool. I really don't want to have to buy another cord for whatever reason. So we're just gonna play some music here. Uh, just the, the Alpines, just mids and highs. Yeah, I know it's a long, boring video. Uh, the cool thing about these mids and highs is how overbuilt they are. There's an inch and a half coil on that six and a half. 
Um, the tweeters are hugely overbuilt and rugged. Uh, huge heat sink on the back. They're all neodymium magnets. You know, copper coils and all that nice stuff. Let's see. Started off at about, you know, two thirds volume. Thanks for watching guys, out.